What's up guys, this is Sabe Knight, and welcome back to uh, The Uninvited for the Nintendo. I finished up that stupid freaking stone maze last time, it took forever, I got so... I was getting so lost in that thing, it was giving me a headache. I got the Blarthy Gem, which is actually what opens up this thing. The Magisterium. It's not a small whatever I just said. It's locked. Oop, okay, so that's... Nope. It was dominated by a huge telescope. Alright. Our lenses can bring your eyes... Right, I'm sorry, can bring the stars to your eyes. Text is indecipherable to you. Maybe someday we'll be able to reach one of those distant points of light on the star map. How is that a light? Yes. Looks like Doctor. Frankenstein's, or Frankenstein's, Frankenstein? Laboratory. I wonder what kind of experiments were performed in here. Wait, what? I wonder what all of the awful colored liquid in the interconnected flask beakers could be. This is a large cauldron, the likes of which have been seen in Macbeth. Heavy iron lid is set to the fleur. Have to contain the clues the whereabouts of your sister. Something is written on the safe. First, the secret numbers, last, the right button. What is this? Gold, silver, and mercury. Together, they form a key. Did the card thing earlier. And was wait, what? Hold on, I need to find a pin. Gold, silver, and mercury. And I completely fucking misspelled mercury. I'm looking right at it. Gold, silver, mercury. Ah, oh. the combination. Uh, So much shit for this game. Cause how about if I, you know, didn't play it once every like, you know, five, ten freaking years? It's a gold, silver, mercury in that order. Ah shit! God damn it! I hit the wrong fucking mm, hit the wrong button. God damn it! Okay, try again. Okay, so it's 79 for gold. Uh, Silver's 47. Mercury, 8. Zero? Yes, you do it. That was a great combination. The jar is made of an extremely hard substance. It says cookies on it. You can hear something inside when you shake it. I believe this is where the uh, axe comes in. Uh, using all your strength, you swing the axe. With a crash, both the axe and the cookie jar shatter into pieces. God damn, that was a hard cookie jar. Aha! You were right. There's a cookie in the jar. I can ask cookie? Cookie was delicious. It tasted like devil's food cake.
Okay, so I think I'm remembering... God damn it. I'm remembering what to do now. on the plate. The creature finally stops running. He grabs the waiting cookie and quickly runs away. In his haste, he leaves the key which he had carried with him. Uh, I'm done. Spells do. that there's about five inches of tar on the ground. Oop. An acrid mist rises from the frozen sludge of the cave mouth. The misty tendrils form themselves into a robed human figure. He says, You've come. I've been waiting for you. Please listen to me. Long ago, I dueled with my disciple, Jakan. Dragon. Whatever. Fuck it. 
in this place. I could find him where in the I could find him here in the ice, but his power was too much for me. I am now forever locked in this dimension with only the ability to project my image into this cave. I ask a favor of you, my son. Send the sleeping dragon in the ice away into the dark world. With that, the old man disappears. Okay, but... Okay. As soon as you step into the cave, a giant spider emerges from a hole in the ceiling. Uh, poison drips from its fangs. Okay, I believe that's where this bell comes in. You catch it from this side. Remember, with six legs or more, or or power the fucking went. Damn, I can't remember how the fuck it went. Something to something, from movement to still, six legs or more, I've been to your will. Spider's movements grind to a halt. It seems I've gone to sleep. Now punch it. Nothing happened. Okay. I don't know why I just did that for. And I forgot I closed it behind me. Frozen solid. Okay. So what does this spell do? Nothing it shall form, nothing shall see the cloud to see. It makes you invisible. You feel a like tingling in the air when you chant the spell. A cloud suddenly appears around you, blotting out your surroundings. Almost as quickly it came, it leaves. The spell took a lot out of you. What does it do? Absolutely fucking literally nothing. Okay. Can't okay, where I use this at now. With a shout, you throw the brass star into the ice. And it's got a face on it for some reason. Suddenly a flame a flaming apparition appears. Steam bursts from the ice and then rapidly melts. Once the ice Mass crazy flow of water that rushes into the next cave. The current sweeps a human figure from within the ice into the next cave. Suddenly, the old man reappears. Hurry before he can awake. You must eject him into the dark world. Do as I request. With that, he again disappears. The current suddenly pulls you under, and you are swept away. Sputtering, you stand up in the water and notice that you're in a very small cave. In his dark robe, the figure, the frozen figure begins to thaw rapidly. This has to be Dragon. Dracon, whatever. Fuck it. Suddenly, Dragon's eyes open wide. He's awake! You grab your arm and using your weight and momentum, he sends you hurtling into the pit. Shocks, you fall helplessly into the abyss and begin your long descent into darkness. Whoops. Okay. I'm in the wrong fucking way. Really?
leaves him on the hole. His moan echoes for quite some time, gradually fading, okay? Aha! You have found an exit. Ancient staircase leads you straight to a door. God damn it. Okay, key two. Okay, so that goes back here. So into the room, the door slams closed behind you. You hear your sister's voice crying out. It sounds like it's coming from above you. Suddenly, the screaming stops. Going the wrong freaking way. Going the wrong way again. Oh my god, stop going the wrong way! Help! It's your sister's voice. It sounds closer than before. She must be somewhere on this floor. It must be getting close. Wrong way. I think it's this. Oh my god, dude. I, I, I hear you. Shut the hell up. Damn. I feel very weak. Okay, pressure begins to burn down on you, whatever. Shut the bathroom. If you enter the bathroom, the door slams shut behind you. Sister screams are definite are definitely loud in here. It's almost as if she's on top of you. Like fish seems to have been shaped to be gripped. Turn the fossil on the water gushes out. In the panic as you realize the water won't shut off. Some uncontrollable force is in control. But the bathtub now begins to overflow. So it begins to fill rapidly. The drain doesn't appear to be working correctly. Or it's really getting deep. It's bad you didn't bring your rubber duck. <laughs> Go on. See you flowing, flooding the bathroom. Bubbling, the water level rises. Your head is almost touching the ceiling. The water goes any higher in deep trouble. You did it. It's open. What's on the other side? Oh, I, I pressed the wrong button. What is something over your head? It flows into your mouth and nose. It's everywhere. Funny, you can't breathe and you soon pass out. Okay, I didn't mean to actually do that. that until it opens and go through it. I thought I, I meant to click on the thing. You come out into the attic. It's your big sis. At last you found her. She seems to be ignoring you. Come on, sis. You shot at her, but she doesn't move. You look at her very closely and then shrink back in horror. Your sister's eyes are glazed and her sickly smile tells you that something is horribly wrong. So of course, you hit her. Slap your sister. Sis! Sis! What's wrong with you? You ask. Oof. Looks a lot like that thing that popped out of that frickin' marble coffin in Shadowgate. Suddenly, a horrible spirit comes out of your sister's body and screeches at you. The thing begins to speak in a low rattle. This little one is too weak for me. I need new blood and a stronger body. I need you. I will have you. You will join us now. Oh, go cat out the window. In horror, your sister shakes her head, gets up, and jumps out the window. Now that she's safe, it's time to deal with you, you shout at the undead nightmare. What is this exactly? It'll be on the shadow of a doubt that this creature is the source of all evil here. Punch it! Suddenly you feel quite helpless. You know that you are no longer part of the world of the living. Much to your horror, you realize that you are now a prisoner in the realm of the undead. Really? Whole bathroom scene again. Uh... Make that shit all over again.
I go straight to hitting her? Yes. If you look at this thing that you picked up earlier, Goblin seems to be gleaming a bit. You're perplexed by this phenomenon, phenomenon. Take it. And curse splash. Drink this, you say. You splash the water on the spirit. The hideous creature screams in pain at the touch of the water. In an instant, the menacing apparition fades into nothingness, leaving no tangible evidence of his having been there. And everything's green all of a sudden. So you climb to the window out onto the balcony. You are surprised that the air is so mild. In fact, a warm, pleasant breeze wafts by. A bright, warm sun begins to shine through the clouds. Then you see your sister. Sis, sis, you're okay. You shout as you hug her. Of course I am, silly. Your sister replies. Just went to this house a couple of minutes ago. At least, it seemed like a couple of minutes ago. I guess I fell asleep. Boy, what a nightmare I had. You hug your sister again, thinking heaven above that it's all over. Sister is now herself again. You are aware of a sense of peace and triumph. It was a nightmare, wasn't it? She asks hesitantly. You see fear in her eyes. With a smile, you reply, Of course it was, sis. Just a really bad dream. Let's go home. You say to your sister. You say as you and your sister step into the warm, golden glow of the summer sun. Okay, so never mind that your car is still like a burning heap outside the freaking mansion, but whatever. And there we have it, the end of The Uninvited for the Nintendo. It didn't take me as long to beat it as I thought it would. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this one. Not as much as Shadowgate, but I did actually like this one a whole lot better than Deja Vu. I guess because like the supernatural aspect was brought back to it. That's what I really enjoyed. Um... I'm actually going to start working on some new games that I just got. I don't know which one I'm going to start first, so just look for it when it comes out. Um, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe to my videos and my channels if you like what you saw. You can if you want to, if not, that's fine too. I am still taking requests for um, games and whatnot. I'll pretty much do any game on any system except for like Xbox, and I won't do um, First-person shooters like, you know, Call of Duty, Gears of War, things like that. But just drop me a comment or a message about what game it is and on what system, and I'll look into it. And if it's something I'll do, I'll get back to you. Meantime, I'm going to just continue with, like, a little list I have going on what games I want done. So until then, this is Save Night, and I will see you guys next game. Later, guys.